Finding amazing Japanese denim is a lesson in discovery, but sometimes you need some help on where to start. And what better way to do that than with somebody who actually is in Japan? <laughs> I, you know, that was a small little flex, but I'm gonna go ahead and help you guys do just that. What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual, and today we're looking at seven amazing Japanese denim brands that you should definitely check out. So without further ado, let us get it. All right, so the first one on our list is Pure Blue Japan, also known as PBJ. Now this is a highly esteemed denim brand that stands out for its artisanal approach to denim production. It was founded in 1997 and have gained a reputation for their dedication to traditional Japanese dyeing techniques and vintage shuttle loom weaving. PBJ's denim is renowned for its rich indigo hues and unique fading patterns, which develop beautifully over time with wear and wash. The meticulous attention to detail extends to the choice of materials, hardware, and stitching, ensuring high quality construction and durability. PBJ also offers a wide range of fits and styles to cater to different preferences, making them a favorite among denim enthusiasts. Now, we got some pros with it. They do have distinctive fading patterns, the attention to detail is there, and high quality fabric. However, for the cons, they also got that higher price range going on, and it's also limited international distribution, which makes it a little less accessible to some consumers. But if you're willing to look, you can find some. Next on our list is Momotaro. Now, Momotaro was established in 2005, and it's celebrated for its commitment to craftsmanship and storytelling. The brand draws inspiration from the Japanese folklore tale of Momotaro, the peach boy, as it were, and incorporates elements of that story into its designs. Using vintage shuttle looms, Momotaro crafts denim with a characteristic slub texture and irregularities, giving each pair of jeans a unique appearance. Now, if you don't know what that means for a slub, we'll do that in another video. Their denim fabrics are made from high quality Zimbabwe cotton, ensuring comfort and durability, which is a great time for me to say, Jesus. I don't know if they sound like that in Zimbabwe, but you know, it's Africa. Momotaro is also recognized for its inventive back pocket designs and signature going to battle stripes. Now the pros of this, high quality fabric, you got that slubbiness to it, unique designs, strong construction. The cons, it is expensive, right? And that is to be expected. Also availability outside of Japan can be limited, but there are a lot of stores in the West, especially the States that'll carry this brand. Our next one is Samurai, or Samurai, we're gonna do it the English way. Samurai jeans is synonymous with heavyweight denim and a dedication to crafting durable, long-lasting jeans. Founded in 1997, the brand prides itself on producing denim that is rugged and designed to endure heavy wear. Samurai's denim fabrics are notably slubby and irregular, contributing to distinctive fading patterns and unique character with time. Their attention to detail extends to the construction and stitching, ensuring the jeans strength and longevity. Samurai also releases limited edition and special collaboration models, creating a sense of exclusivity among denim enthusiasts. Now the pros of this, of course, exceptional durability, distinct fading, and thick yarns, that what creates that slubbiness. The cons, the heavyweight fabric takes a long time to break in, just period. And their styles might not appeal to those seeking lighter weight denim because it is kind of heavy. The next one is one of my favorites, Sugarcane. Now Sugarcane was founded in 1965 and it's a brand that blends vintage aesthetics with modern sustainability practices. The brand is known for incorporating various fibers such as sugarcane and recycled denim into their fabrics, giving their denim unique characteristics. Sugarcane's denim is often blended with other natural fibers like cotton and hemp, resulting in comfortable and eco-friendly jeans. They pay close attention to the aging process of the denim, aiming to achieve a vintage look that develops gracefully over time. Now the pros to Sugarcane, it is a comfortable pair. It's ju they just feel great when you wear them. And they're also environmentally conscious. And also they have distinctive fading because of all those blends that they're doing. Now the cons, the styles and fits are out there. They vary from style to style. And of course, Sugarcane is one of the harder ones to get outside of Japan. The next one we got is Ironheart. Ironheart is a brand with a cult-like following among denim enthusiasts focusing on heavy duty workwear inspired jeans. Founded in 2003, Ironheart is recognized for producing some of the heaviest denim fabrics available, often exceeding 21 ounces. Now for those that don't know, that's a pretty heavy pair of jeans. Their denim is designed to withstand tough conditions 
and offer unmatched durability. They're gonna last forever. Ironheart's denim is renowned for its slub texture, which contributes to its unique fading patterns and a rugged appearance. Despite being heavyweight, the jeans are crafted with comfort in mind and are known for softening with wear. Now the pros, obviously, it's ultra durable, it's gonna last a long time, they have the unique fades, and it's a very strong construction. The cons, the heavyweight can be heavy and stiff, and some people might find it uncomfortable during the initial break-in period. These are just ones that you have to wear a lot. These are for, I would say that Ironheart is for those really deep into it denim fans. Like you can't just be like, I want a good pair of denim and get some iron hearts. You gotta, I wear denim like 90% of the time, probably 99% of the time. Cause it's gonna take some time to break these in. So these are forever jeans. So I just, I thought I should mention that. All right, so our second or last, we have Studio de Artisan. A Studio de Artisan is a brand that strikes a balance between traditional craftsmanship and contemporary designs. Founded in 1979, the brand produces denim using vintage shuttle looms and incorporates unique dyeing techniques. Their denim fabrics often feature subtle irregularities, adding character and depth to the jeans. Studio de Artisan is known for its creative and innovative designs as well, offering a diverse range of fits and styles to cater to different tastes. They also collaborate with artists and other brands, resulting in unique and limited edition releases. It's also one of the historically relevant denim brands, so you owe it to yourself to actually check it out just for the history alone. Now the pros to this one, unique, creative designs, high quality construction, and interesting collaborations. You basically get the whole package with this one. Cons, again, availability might be limited. Pricing in the premium range is incredibly high. This is a notable brand, so you gotta come out of pocket a little bit, but it's gonna be one of those investment pieces that you're not gonna be upset that you made the investment on. So there you go. And the last on our list is Oni Denim. Oni, Oni Denim is celebrated for its distinct and eye-catching slub textures in their denim fabrics. Again, we'll cover what those words means like slub and nep in another episode, but just take a look at it and you might find out what that means. Founded in 2010, Oni Denim focuses on creating jeans with unique character, weaving their fabrics with a combination of traditional and modern techniques. The slub texture contributes to pronounced fading patterns, making each pair of Oni Denim one of a kind. The brand offers a variety of fits, including relaxed and tapered options, so you got your, you got your pick of the litter there. And Oni Denim's attention to detail extends to the stitching and hardware, ensuring high quality construction. So it's an overall great brand to try out. Now the pros, unique slub textures, that's the one. Eye-catching fades, creative designs. The jeans are only 50% done when they're made. The other 50% is made by the wearer. Cons, the styles are incredibly limited. It's very hard to find them. And the higher price range might be too high for some people. But that all goes into play because of how, you know, unique they are. So that happens. Oni Denim is great. You should definitely check it out. That said, while there are numerous denim brands in Japan, what isn't often talked about is the standard of quality. Because so many denim labels have high standards, you rarely see a bunk pair when it comes to Japanese denim, which means you can go just about to any brand and that takes quality into consideration, of which there are many, and find a good pair of denim jeans in Japan. In most cases, most people are going to check out the more famous ones. But again, a lot of brands do great quality work over here. Things like Japan Blue or even Ebisu still does amazing denim. So it's not like you're getting something cheaper or cheap. There's just a standard of quality here that it's kind of unmatched. So yes, there are more known ones like the ones listed on this list but part of the denim journey is searching for others. And with that, I'd like some of our denim followers and friends out there to add to this list. What are some other denim labels you think should make the list? And we'll go ahead and give extra points for lesser known ones that should get more attention. So let all that be known in the comments and it'll possibly be on a follower, friends and family list that we do later on. Try something like that like you guys' list, all right? We'll do a vote or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. Yoroshiku And I'll see you guys in a minute.